from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Fast-moving consumer goods manufacturer Tiger Brands launched a new center to promote research and innovation within the group's various divisions on March 16. Donna Slater was at the launch. The Sensorium, based at Tiger Brands' head office in Bryanston, houses a laboratory, development kitchen, conference room, a tasting and testing room, and restaurant-style seating areas. Tiger Brands Venture Capital Fund Director speaks to Crema Media's Donna Slater about the new sensorium. For us, it's about, we've been speaking a lot about innovation from Tiger Brands. We've, we've put it in the market. We really are um, trying to create a culture of innovation and how our leadership has tackled it is that the internal in initiatives like the sensorium, how do we provide a space that um, enables collaboration around innovation and then also about inorganic opportunities which is where the VC fund comes in. So how do we look for external innovative opportunities that can enable Tiger Brands' growth. So it really is about, this is not the time for us to hold back, this is about us putting our money where our mouths are in terms of driving innovation and a culture of innovation at Tiger Brands. We speak about our investments as partnerships as you rightly say. Um, we invested in Herbivore about a year ago now. We have a minority shareholding in them um, and that's when it started a year ago and so um, along with other shareholders we then help them um, from a strategic perspective to make sure that we unlock um, barriers in terms of them realizing their growth potential. Um, how Herbivore is important to us is it's aligned to a health and nutrition strategy and it, it's aligned because plant-based foods are obviously a lot healthier and it's also aligned to our sustainable future strategy in that um, we know that there's evidence that proves that plant-based products emit less um, greenhouse gases um, in, into the environment than animal products and so that's something that's quite important for us. And looking forward in terms of what consumers are looking for, how do we make sure that we are still around for the next hundred years, we really are looking for innovative, high growth, high potential businesses and that's the opportunity that, that Herbivore um, presented us with. So we invested about a year ago, um, February 2022, and the progress that we've made so far is that we've, we've enabled them in terms of their vision. So their vision is about creating the future of food and making plant-based a lot more accessible, a lot tastier, as well as a lot more affordable. So that's the journey that we're on with them. From an affordability perspective, we're not where we want to be, but at least um, we know that they're much cheaper than um, imported alternatives and amongst their peers, they're either on par or sometimes in other situations they are a little bit less expensive. The next step would be about how do we make plant-based food not about price. When a consumer gets to shelf and they see an animal-based product and they see a plant-based product, let it not be about price. Um, and, and that's the long-term journey, but it obviously takes scale for them to be able to be on par with, with, with animal products. And, and so that's the long-term journey that we are on with them. For the future, we continue to have um, a strong pipeline. We're currently in the process of certain due diligences on companies that we're looking to invest in, and should they be approved, then we'll add them to our portfolio. So for us, it's about continuing to look for um, companies that meet our criteria and, and entrepreneurs that we can partner with, because um, we want to learn from them as much as we will also give access to, to the expertise within Tiger Brands. Our strategic growth pillars, so health and nutrition, snackification and economical food options. And it's really informed by consumer trends that we've seen. So consumers, particularly coming out of COVID, are looking for healthier and more nutritious um, products, whether it's in food or in beverage. Um, on snackification, our research shows us that, you know, um, I think 20 years ago, we went from three staple meals, you'll have breakfast, lunch and dinner. Now consumers actually are having seven snacking occasions throughout the day. And so for us, it's about how do we participate in as many of those snacking occasions as possible. So that informed our snackification strategy. And along the economical food options, it's very much linked to our purpose. We cannot nourish and nurture more lives every day if we're not affordable. And so for the venture capital fund, it's about, yes, we're looking for innovation, we're looking for um, entrepreneurs that are leading edge, but also the products that they, they provide really need to be affordable if we're going to meet our our goal and our vision in terms of nourishing and nurturing more lives every day. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.